Boys and girls, welcome to Little Movers. I'm Auntie Andy, and I'm so happy to be back with you. Today is thank you day, and one thing I want to tell God thanks for is sending Jesus to take away our sins. And sins are those bad things. What can you tell God thanks for? Hmm. Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. Gratitude is the best attitude. So now, let's take our time, let's use our minds, and let's wave up high and say, Jesus is mine. It's a brand new day to learn, sing, and play. So let's get moving on Little Movers today. Hi boys and girls and welcome to another J Move session on Little Movers where we move, where we groove, where we dance for Jesus and where are all the kids who are so small but they know that they serve a big God. Yeah, yeah, we know that's you and today guess what? We're finished with our dance, we're finished guys. And let's see what you've got. Let's do it together. Let's have fun. Let's praise the Lord. And you can put a little spin and swag to it. So are you ready? Are you ready to get sweaty? Okay, let's go. So the first move is the star point. So we clap one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we go back over. You see how bright that star is getting? One, two. One, two, one, two, and one, two. And then the next move is point up, stretch, and pull down, up, and pull down, right? And then we crisscross with our arms out, right? Okay, so it's out, legs cross, and we turn around like that. And after that, we put our hands on our knees and we bend those knees. We get a nice, that nice form and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah? Okay, good. The next move is the shoulder, right? So we do the shoulder going that way and reverse coming back. So one, two, three, Four. All right, so after that move, we go back to planting, but we're leaning to the right. So we open and we shine our light. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, open wide and step and pray. And bring it down, right? And next is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you know that four, four is a 16. Awesome job. So after that, we're gonna jump and point. Say, I'm alive, I'm alive. Yes, I am, yes, I am. So I'm alive, I'm alive, yes, I am, right? And then I'm alive, I'm alive, yes, I am. And now you're your flashlight. I'm alive, I'm alive, yes, I am. I'm a light, I'm a light, yes I am. And after that, one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one and two and three, right? So we go around, and then we wear a sun. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after that, guess what? We go right back into the first set. We go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 
One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and four. And then we do this. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we, I'm alive, I'm alive, yes I am. 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 Good job guys. So that was it for those moves. Keep practicing and you'll get really good. You can feel free to send us videos and show us what you got. Show us how you're moving for Jesus. See you next week. Bye. I'm Desha and welcome to Animal Kingdom. What do they eat? Well, chickens eat seeds, plants and insects which it means that they are omnivores. Can I touch him? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go ahead. You have to be very gentle. Chickens get stressed very easily and that can cause them to die. So we're trying not to agitate or frighten them. Small goats or baby goats are known as kids. And when baby goats are being born, the process is called kidding. Goats also have rectangular eyes, unlike most of us that have circular eyes. Did you know that goats are born without horns? And as they get older, the horns get bigger. And male goats, their horns get a lot bigger than female goats. How are you? Sure. You're all good. Come on. Go ahead. Is it true that dogs have like their nose can smell certain things that humans can't smell? Yes, that's very true. are herbivores meaning that they eat plants and grass and hay is mainly a part of their diet and 
uh, as you can see, their baby horse is known as foals. Foals, they are able to walk pretty much a few hours after they're born. This is because horses are known as prey animals. <coughs> also see color. I don't know if in the shows or in the movies you've ever seen where the matador has a red flag or red tape and always shaking it. That's because cows can see color and they're attracted to certain colors. Remember everyone that some cows are male which would be a bull. Some cows are females which would be a heifer. And the baby cows are called calves. Some cows are big, some cows are small. That's really just how God made them all. If you enjoyed it, please watch next week's segment to see what animal we have next. Hey you, wasn't that fun? So many things here on earth to show us how big our God is. Let's remember what we learned last time on Little Movers. So, the Pharaoh agreed to let God's people be free from slavery. Moses raised his rod as God told him to do. The Red Sea suddenly parted for the children of Israel to walk through. All the water in the sea held up by God's power until all his people crossed safely over. The Pharaoh's army followed them into the deep, deep sea. But then God put back the water and swept the enemies off their feet. All drowned by God's power, not a trace to be found. The Israelites praised God and made their way to a new home. Today, let's explore if we take God for granted. Do we accept his son Jesus or do we want to be distracted? Let's see what happens next right after this break. My name is Tishana Makin and today's Bible verse is taken from Psalms 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Hi Little Movers, it's story time! Are you ready? So, my name is Auntie Isabel. I'm going to be telling you a story today, continuing from last week. Anybody ever wanted to go somewhere so badly? And it probably takes a while. The trip is probably expensive, but you really, really want to go? Well, the people of Israel really wanted to go to the Promised Land, and they wouldn't stop until they got there. So now they've walked through the Red Sea and they've seen the journey ahead. Now, what comes next? God is going to bring them on a journey, a very long journey, but it's a journey to a promised land. Everybody say, promised land. <laughs> on their way to the promised land, some great miracles were performed. But first, the people began to lose trust in God. They began to complain. They began to say, Lord, I'm out here in this hot, sunny desert. I wonder when it's going to be the day that we see the promised land. They became impatient. Has anybody ever been impatient before? Oh, are we there yet? Oh, I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. But one thing God was about to show them is that He is, is the provider. He is the Father and He knows best. So, 
One day, the children of Israel were complaining and all of them were out there in the desert, hungry and tired. But God heard their complaints and he was still kind enough. God is a kind God. He was kind enough that early the next morning, they woke up and saw something raining down. What is this? What is this? They cried. What is this? And they called it manna. And the word manna literally means, what is it? Right? So they saw it. And Moses said, it's the bread from heaven. God provided. Hallelujah. God provided food to eat. And that night, birds came down. And he called them quail. And they had food to eat. They still began to complain. They said, yeah, I guess we do have food to eat. Here's quail, and here's this thing that tastes like bread. But I want more than this. Is this all? Is this all I'm going to eat for the rest of our lives? Oh, it's so boring. And every morning, they would wake up and there was new food on the ground. God said though, don't keep any for the next day. Don't store it away in the baskets for the next day. No, he will provide new manna. So God gave them just enough for each day. God gave them just enough for one day and they were supposed to be, say this word with me, satisfied. It means happy. It means content. It means I'm a-okay. I don't need one more bit. I'm satisfied. So I want us to take from this lesson about the manna and the quail that God will provide all our needs. Let's sing a song. If it's a little or a lot, doesn't matter what I've got, I will thank him every day from my heart. Because God provides for us, it will always be enough. I'll be thankful every day from my heart. Let's be thankful, boys and girls, always, okay? All right. So let's see what we have next. Hey everyone, welcome to Cool Creation. My name is Gabby. Today we're learning about the story when God sent manna and quail to the Israelites. So this week for Cool Creations, we're going to be making a quail. The materials you're going to be needing are
have your craft quail. Thank you so much for watching this segment of Cool Creation. Bye, see you next time. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for giving us life another day. Help us to submit our hearts to you. Help us to stay in you and not to depart from you and go to evil. Help us to be one with you, just how you and Jesus are one. Help us to do the right and not the wrong. Help us to know good from evil. Help us to know that the devil is a liar and so we shouldn't listen to him. In your name I pray, Amen. 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 I had so much fun with you today, Little Movers, especially that part where we meet those beautiful birds in cool creations. Now, boys and girls, let's remember that gratitude is the best attitude. See you next time on Little Movers, and remember, tell all of your friends and family that here on Little Movers, small kids can serve a big God. Bye now. Little Movers is an extension of the Mary Banks Academy of the Arts where students of all ages are trained and artistically developed in dance with genre from ballet to hip hop and contemporary no matter your skill level. Or creative arts including theatrical makeup and prop building for making the word of God come alive as well as powerful drama and poetry classes all focused on making you a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Who can participate? Ages 5 through adults up to 99 are welcome to build a deeper relationship with Jesus as creative skills are sharpened and put to work in our digital workshop. Mary Banks Academy of the Arts will educate and empower its students with family-friendly step-by-step, hands-on, spirit-led instruction for everyone. Contact us at theater at bibleteachers.org. See you there!